Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sun vlog. So we're already towards the end of the first month in January 2019. I just can't even believe it. Oh, it's incredible, man, how time is literally on warp speed. And that's why it's really important to get with the program and become in energetic alignment with what you want to accomplish in this life and for your highest good and for your your expansion of consciousness um, so that you can really take advantage of all this new 5d energy that's coming into this earth plane and the real deal is that kind of like if you don't do that the chances are that you could slide the other direction <laughs> You know, I don't want to be like a naysayer or anything, but I really feel strongly that it's time to really focus on being as high vibration as we can, not just for our own good and, you know, positive experience here, but to really affect the vibration of the planet as a whole. Because there's so much darkness and it's really unsettling how much darkness is out in the world. Okay, so... I just finished a whole 12 uh, or 13, I guess, um, vlogs about the 12 spiritual laws. And these laws, I call them the 12 energetic laws, the 12 universal laws. They are basically 12 rules of, or it's almost like steps or, you know, information how to use the energy in this planet. It's like the keys to the kingdom, <laughs> like seriously. And so... Um, we went through them all and I would just like to take this time to go through them one more time and very quickly in a list so that we can have it all together in one spot. Okay. First, the law of divine oneness that basically says we're all part of a greater whole, which is why it's so important to keep your high, your vibration high because everything we do affects all the people, all the things around us. Right? Number two, the law of vibration. That basically states that everything vibrates to a certain frequency. And the higher your vibration, the more connected to spirit you are and the more you can manifest. All right? Really cool. The third one is the law of action. Now, this one is really important because you can do all the spiritual and energetic work in the world, but if you don't actually go out and take physical action in the third dimension, you're going to probably fail, or at least it's going to take longer. Okay. So for the law of correspondence, which is basically the spiritual world mimics the, uh, physical world. So what you're manifesting in the spiritual world will eventually manifest into the physical world. And we manifest in every moment of our existence here. Okay. That's really important to understand. Okay. Number five, the law of cause and effect. That says if you do something, there's going to be an effect. <laughs> there's always consequences. People forget that. Oh, I'm going to go around being negative and well, what is that going to do? Manifest more negativity. So it's cause and effect. You got to keep that in mind. Number six is the law of compensation. I love this law because it's like basically you're paid back for what you put out. So the more you're a high vibration, spiritual giving individual, the more you're going to get back all that abundance. Woo. Um, number seven is the law of attraction. That's one of the most Sorry for the crispy paper in this 133 degree, degree heat. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, the law of attraction. That's the one that most people have heard of in, you know, general public or whatever. But it's basically a like attracts like. So you attract what you, the level you vibrate and what you put out is what attracts back to you. So, but if you just do this one it's not going to work. I mean, it'll work eventually because, but you could manifest other stuff because you're not always operating in a positive state or whatever. You're not following the other energetic laws. So this one is important, but the other ones are probably equally as important. And all of them as a whole would be the most important to get. Okay. Then uh, the law of perpetual, okay. The law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Energy is always in motion, never stops. So you can't basically kill energy or delete it or whatever, but you can change it. So if you've been putting out a lot of low vibration stuff, you can change that energy and raise the vibration by just, you know, taking control of your mind, primarily in your thoughts and your words and all these things. Um, 
Okay, the law number nine of relativity. This is one um, that is more difficult to understand. It's basically your experiences are relative to something else, you know, or your perception is relative to your experiences. It has to be a correlation, a relation, so that there can be an assessment of a situation, basically. So if you're looking at it from a certain something from a certain perspective, it would be different than what somebody else saw it because their relativity to the situation or the issue is from a different perspective. I don't know if I said that right, but it's everything is relative to something else. So it has to be sort of like a comparison, right? Um, number 10, the law of polarity. This is similar as well. This is that everything in the universe has an opposite, a polar opposite, which is interesting. And it, it, it's just like the previous one. It takes a little bit more thought to get it. But if you're in a state of bliss, there's also a state of really, you know, fear is the pride, the lowest vibration. And so you have to be able to balance, you know, because the, if you're in the extremes all the time, life's going to be like this. <laughs> so it's really important to find balance in these polarities, right? Number 11 is the law of rhythms. This is again about energy moving and how energy never stops, but it also goes in specific rhythms like the tides and all of the uh, natural cycles that we have in this earth plane. The universe also has cycles. So if you're able to tap into the cycles, then you can really ride the waves of successful manifesting. Um, number 12 is the law of gender. And the law of gender is like the yin and the yang in the universe. So everything has like an opposite, but also everything has a yin and a yang uh, a part to it, being one more feminine and one more masculine, okay? And each of those genders have specific traits associated with them. And the real trick to this one is finally finding balance with both of them because they both create the whole, all right? So... These are all really intertwined, these laws, and, and some of them are very similar, but slightly different in, in semantics and syntax. But you can get this, and if you get this and you really practice it 100% of the time, your manifesting will take off completely. I've done it myself since I've been studying it, and it's changed my life. I mean, literally had changed my life. Woo, doggy. <laughs> and 2018 was an MF hard year. And so I had to do something, you know, because I just felt so overwhelmed with negativity and like, uh. so I hope everybody takes these laws and uses them in their life and really um, puts, puts good use to them so that they can change their life for the better and raise their vibration, not just for themselves, but for all of us, all of humanity. Woo, doggy. Okay, so uh, I have about 45 minutes or so in here. It's already 135 degrees. I just got a new batch of my alkaline water, which is so powerful and so it changes your body's alkalinity from acidic to alkaline. So it's, it's, it's really, read more about it. It's worth making the effort to drink. Okie dokie. So I hope everybody feels blessed and I'm send blessings, uh, sending blessings to everyone. And please, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I really want to be of service. I really want to be available for people to ask questions and interact with me. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> and so please subscribe or um, become a member of my Patreon site. I'll put a link. It just really helps pay for things like editing. I have all this footage to edit, but I just don't have, you know, the, the resources. Anyway, so peace.